Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth video on Ansible learning system for network engineers. In this video, we will see how to use Ansible Vault for securing the password. In the previous video, we have seen how to hard code the password in inventory file. This was the file I used, inventory file. Here you can see I just hard coded the password admin here. Uh, in this video, we will see how to protect that. So we'll go back to the website. Here you can see first we need to create a password for vault itself which can be written into a file or you can request for a prompt we'll come to these details before that the main point which you need to look is ina format inventory does not support inline vaults here in this example you can see they are not using INA format inventory but our inventory file is INA format so only YAML inventory supports inline vaults so first we need to convert our inventory into YAML format for that uh, there is a reference here you can see some examples this is one INA format inventory which is same as ours so they have just converted this into YAML you can see mail dot example dot com is not under any any group so this will be under all host and below that you can see another two groups web server and DB server under that they are added another two hosts so similar way there is one example which almost matches our ex our inventory file yeah this file if you see our inventory file we have one major group dc group under that we have subgroups uh, dc1 and under dc1 we have r1 under dc2 r2 all the variables we have defined under dc group so it is almost same additional thing what we are given here in the mentioned device IP so this is how this INA format looks in YAML so similar way I have created one inventory file so it is going to be exactly same as this INA file I will copy this before replacing our existing host file we'll just try to run it once and then we'll replace with new yaml format inventory it contacted both devices r1 and r2 and it just printed the host name and image version now I'll rename this host INI backup and then I'll create another host file here I'll save it you can see under all the main group is DC group under that we have two groups DC1 DC2 given the host details then variables are under DC group so that it will be applicable to both the subgroups username and password is hard coded here let's run the script again this error is because of a syntax mistake you can see could not find a colon and you can see it is searching in line 21 column 1 we'll see our host file again you can see this is line 20 here I have missed the space I'll add the space here so the space is very important colon space then you need to give the value now we will try to execute it again 
and now it is executing so you can see here both ina inventory and yaml inventory works same now we'll go back to the document here you can see a command to generate an encrypted password i'll copy this i'll put it here we'll frame it based on our requirement here using ansible vault command it is trying to encrypt a string and vault id is going to be for ansible reference it doesn't need to be the exact username you can give any user use name here i'll give user id 01 then here it will prompt for the password so this is a string it is going to encrypt so this we need to give the password then the name is going to be the variable name in our case it is going to be ansible password it is same here before that we'll configure a user in the device I'll create a user called test user test password so the password what we need to give here is test password you can just execute this from anywhere you just get output on prompt itself so we not be in, in a specific folder so we'll execute and see so it is asking for vault password i'll give a password one two three four again i'll give the password one two three four so you can see the output here if you compare it with this document we got almost in the same format output so we just need to put it in our yaml based inventory now we'll copy that output I'll replace this with the new vault encrypted password save it now let's see how to execute the command so here you can see the command so ansible playbook we already have default inventory so we don't have to mention the inventory file vault hyphen id and the vault id what gave we gave is user id 01 then we will prompt for the password because we haven't stored that vault password 1234 anywhere We'll prompt for it then our playbook file so i'll give one two three four it will fail in the device r2 
yeah, it will fail in both devices, right? Uh, because I haven't given the username. I haven't given correct username here. So it will fail. I'll change the username here. Test user. And I'll try to execute against only one device. Hyphen L. BC01. If you see my inventory in DC01, I have only R1. I'll give the vault password here. Yeah, it worked on R1. Now, if you want to encrypt another variable username, what you can do, we can check here. The variable name is keys and simple underscore user. So here in this command, the name is going to be and simple underscore user. And the content is test user. We'll give same password for this as well. I'll copy this I'll replace this with encrypted content let's try to run the script again yeah it is working now if you want to decrypt it there is a command you can see that here In our case, we'll use our group. Hyphen L DC group will give. In our case, we are going to have two variables: ansible password and ansible user. And our inventory file is host. Let's try this. Here we don't have to give hyphen L. So I'm into my Ansible folder, this folder terminal. So here I have host file. So I'll execute this. One, two, three, four. So you can see it encrypted the data because I have given the vault password here so in this way you can en de encrypt and decrypt now we will see how to write the vault password in a file and use it while executing in the first example you can see it creates a file so we will create a file here manually So I'll create a file here. 
get the name PW then I'll enter the password we'll go to the document so here instead of prompt we just need to give the file name So I'll replace the previous command itself slash the file name was pw let's see now it is not prompting for password because it is taking from that file yeah it is uh, successfully completed I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.